Okay, the High School of the Performing Arts. I'm your English teacher, Miss Sherman. Is the 
class, I would like to introduce our newest arrival. Her name is Iris Kelly. We are very lucky to have this young lady with us. All right, people, let's find our partner for the adagio. Trust me, baby. That girl ain't no skunk. Put your eyes back in your head, Tyrone. She's way out of here. Says who? Says the shiny black woman that dropped her off just before. Alright, class. Let's take it from the top. Thank you for joining us, Carmen. Sorry, Miss Bell. I got cut up on the subway. Keep the movements fluid. Ready? And imagine crystal clear water flowing gently downstream. Mabel, I said water, not molasses. What's wrong with you today? It's only 9.45. I don't care what time it is. My stomach's screaming, feed me, feed me. Hang in there, Mabel. Only three and a half hours till lunch. Classical lines, people. Imagine you're dancing for balance sheet. That's lovely, Iris. You look like the swan king. Tyrone, this is a dodgio, not disco. But it's so boring. Talk about a type. We study classical dance for the same reason we study Mozart, to build technique and learn classical form. Think of it as a trip to the museum. Why does it have to be like that? Why couldn't you do ballet that was different? Switch no one, tight one, like the traffic in Times Square. Sounds like you've given this a lot of thought. Tyrone did more than think about it. He created a whole new dance. So? So, I think we've got a budding choreographer in our midst. Watch out, ballet world. Still don't have no future in ballet. Maybe you would if you worked hard. Hey, I work as hard as anyone, but when was the last time you saw someone like me dancing for the four day ballet? It's not your dancing that's the problem, Mr. Tyrone Jackson. It's your attitude. Hey, you don't know me, so stop shoving your soda spoon down my throat. Tyrone, wait. My family's not rich. They barely have enough money to keep me in point shoes. Yeah, right. That's why you show up every day in that long black limo. My father's a chauffeur. He drops me off on his way to work, and I don't speak. Then how come you've been putting on this act? Because I was scared. Scared of what? You're the best dancer in the school, Iris. Scared no one would like you. Well, I like you. Yeah? Yeah. Carmen, the first rule of acting is to know thyself. 
If you can't learn to deal with your own emotions honestly, those might be another pretty face that nobody cares about. You're wrong about me, Mr. Myers. I'm gonna make it, because I've got what it takes. From now on, I have three things to worry about. Me, myself, and I. One day, you're gonna see my name up in lights. Carmen Diaz. Sparkle, girl, sparkle. I'm talking Broadway, movies. Atlantic City? Radio City? People are gonna shiver when they see me coming. Shiver, honey, shiver. They'll say, there she goes, Carmen. Not the movie, not the opera, but the human being. <laughs> I don't want to play your mother. All right. How about Shakespeare, maybe, the two gentlemen of Verona? Which one would I play? Could you stop being difficult? I'm not being difficult. All I'm saying is we just spent a whole year investigating our own emotions, 
and you keep picking scenes we can't relate to. Maybe you're around for scene for your sweet That clown, no way. I'm just saying we spent a whole year investigating our own emotions, and you keep picking scenes I can't relate to. Maybe we could try something different. Like what? Like Trollius and Grisetta, or how about Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? I just died playing Maggie the Cat. I have a copy right here in my back. <laughs> What's this? You gave it to me! Last semester you carried my headshot around? Yes! No! I meant to leave it at home. <laughs> no, Nick, you don't. For crying out loud, how are we gonna get any work done if you keep acting like an adolescent? What's wrong with acting like adolescents when that's exactly what we are? Look, Serena, it's obvious we're not coming from the same place. Maybe you should find yourself another scene partner. <laughs> I didn't mean to come in. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Genius at work, right? I'm hardly a genius. You know, Shlomo, your problem is you don't have enough confidence. <coughs> like, that piece you play all the time, Solid Gold. It's her sophomore composition. I've been working on it for weeks, but I feel like something's still missing. Maybe these will help. They're lyrics. I wrote to go with that too. <coughs> go ahead, check them out. Carmen, this isn't a song. It's a sonata. What difference does it make? I know a top ten hit when I hear one. You really think so? Guaranteed to go platinum? Like that. But. I guess you hear this stuff all the time, you know, compliments and stuff. Are you kidding? I come from a family of perfections. Nothing I do is ever good enough. Hey, I hear what you're saying. If I won a Grammy, my mom would still think I wasn't good enough. So, do you want to take the lyrics for a test drive? Yeah. Really good, except second and third lines. 
It just don't flow. Yeah, I see what you mean. Wanna try it again?
So you made up your mind, and I'm the last to hear about Please, it. Please, don't you start bugging me, too. Carmen, I'm your friend. I care what happens to you. Then be my friend, and get off my case. But you hardly know this guy. Elliot Green is a professional agent. He came to New York to scout talent, and he found me. He has faith in me, which is more than I can say for you. But we're the band. What about us? The band ain't going nowhere. Says who, Mr. Showbiz? He's a professional agent. He has all kinds of things lined up for me in L.A. But you hardly know this guy. Carmen, I'm your friend. I care what happens to you. I Not bad, Grace. A little rough around the edges. Tyrone, what was Mr. 
Miller's point. You know, Mr. Chairman, I didn't really get relate to that point. See, it's all about failure, and I'm all about success. Superman belongs on Krypton, not in school. Hey, don't be this man at school. He's a little awful eye to it. Oh, really? In that case, why don't you read it to us? Out loud. Uh, I can't. I love what I read last year. Give it up, Tyra. Your vision's 2020 and you know it. Are you trying to make me stupid in front of the whole class? No, you're not stupid, but you do need help. Everyone, class off the day. Class dismissed. Tyrone, wait. I am so sorry. Can you read it all? Thank you. 
graduating just today. We'll always remember you. Oh! <laughs> 